we had dreamt of flying, toyed with the idea of soaring like a bird. And then we invented a machine. Some call it the aeroplane. We call it the evolution of a human idea. The wheel of evolution transformed our lives for the better. From the Stone Age to the Plastic Age. Plastic has seeped into every nook and corner of our lives. Be it food, personal care or even healthcare products. From the aviation industry to recreational products. Without plastic packaging, it is estimated that the tonnage of alternate packaging would increase four times. Greenhouse emissions two times. Cost will double and energy consumption will also increase by one and a half times. About 40 to 45 percent of plastic is used in plastic packaging alone. Plastic wraps increase the shelf life of food. It has reduced the weight of a milk bottle from a hefty 450 grams to a minuscule 2.5 grams. Replacing 400 chairs of wood with plastic means saving 8 to 10 trees. Plastic pipes in agriculture increases crop yield by 20 to 40 percent. The 8 million ton Indian plastic industry has been firmly growing at the rate of 10 percent every year. It aids employment and has potential to propel India's growing economy. Also, the huge disparity between the Indian and global per capita consumption of plastic tells a different story. Our verdict? Well, we are sitting on a potential gold mine called plastic. So, what's lurking behind the real plastic menace? And what's the solution? Waste management. Regulating littering habits. Repeated use of plastic waste. Door-to-door -door collection. And installing waste collection boxes. A recent study found out that 5% of municipal solid waste constitutes plastic, 90% of which is scavenged by the unorganized system of manual workforce like rag pickers and the remaining 10% is sent to the landfills. Alternate methods to dispose plastic waste are being encouraged. In Europe, energy recovery from plastic is far better than the recycling rate. A look at the recycling model in a developing economy like Vietnam reveals how a government-aided initiative can become a perfect model to replicate for India. Located at about 30 kilometers from Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, the government has developed the village of Triu Cook as a tiny waste management zone, employing about 600 people from more than 297 households that earn their livelihood through plastic recycling. Operating like a production chain, each family here is dedicated to a different stage of plastic recycling. A perfect waste management blueprint, if adopted by the Indian government and applied to our villages, would not just weed out the issue of plastic trash in the country, but can also tip the scales of economy with its contribution. And here's busting some more myths when it comes to plastic bags. One metric ton of plastic saves 8 to 10 trees. According to life cycle analysis, plastic generates 60% less greenhouse emissions and consumes 40% less energy than paper. 
paper poses a bigger threat to the environment. If we do not question paper, then why question plastic? You decide. So, life without plastic would mean some more villages without power. Would mean breathing more poison in the air. Some more wait for water to quench our thirst. Some more of our kids to be born in an unsafe world. And some more trees to suffer a silent death. A life that's rewinded to the Stone Age. Time to question ourselves again.